having good audio doesn't need to be complicated. How can we simplify this entire process? And I think it comes down to, okay, so typically I like to think of myself as a pretty easygoing person. Um, I like my coffee black. When I find a shirt that I like, uh, it's pretty much the only shirt I wear. Even though I have a full head of hair, I still shave my head pretty much every day. And people might hear that and think that it's kind of basic. I mean, I named my dog Cooper, pretty much the most common name for a dog here in the US. But really, I think it boils down to me really valuing consistency and reliability. And sometimes the easiest way to get that is to just simplify things, right? So while I am like that in my normal everyday life, um, when it comes to audio recordings, I am far from simple and basic. I generally like to have as much control as I can during the recording process and in post in editing. And so I like to use a lot of equipment. And if you're like me, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes it can be a huge barrier to content creation because there's just so much stuff to bring with you to carry around to set up to check. Yeah, it just gets to be like more work than it is fun. And so I thought to myself, you know what? having good audio doesn't need to be complicated. How can we simplify this entire process? And I think it comes down to three key factors that, uh, that we'll talk about today. And don't worry for those of you who do like to complicate your audio. Um, I got a slick audio recording setup that I will show you towards the end of this video. I've been meaning to make this video for a while now for you specifically. And when Zoom recently reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try out this new microphone we have? I said, uh, yeah, man, I do. And so they sent over their new Zoom ZSG-1, which is Zoom's first on-camera microphone designed for content creators. In fact, this whole video will be recorded using the Zoom ZSG-1. And it actually fits into uh, the theme of this video perfectly. The Zoom ZSG-1 is a no-frills on-camera microphone that has a single 3.5 millimeter TRS connection. So this is basically all you get when you open the box. When I first got it, it seemed to be like the younger sibling of the Zoom M3 mic track in that it has a similar sound, a similar construction, uh, the same shock mount, and it plugs directly into your camera via its 3.5 millimeter TRS input. So uh, it doesn't get more easy than that. So when it comes to simplifying your audio, the first thing that we really need to talk about is your microphone selection you know like choosing the gear that you want to use for your content creation based on your specific needs you know a lot of gear these days tries to appeal to a large user base whether that be consumers or prosumers or content creators or hobbyists or or professionals and so i think a lot of companies like to pack in as many features as they can into their products and while that's great for someone that likes to take advantage of all of them or to have the option to one day take advantage of those for the new content creator who is learn just learning about sound things like pads high pass filters gain safety tracks any of those things can can sound intimidating and can just complicate the process and so sometimes having less is actually more i for one very rarely enable any of the built-in features of a microphone and truth be told sometimes i do forget to charge devices that have batteries and so having a microphone like the ZSG-1, super easy to use, one output, yeah, that just streamlines the whole process because you know you can have it on you, plug it in, and it's just going to work. And now because you're simplifying your equipment, it means that the next thing you need to really be mindful of is your mic technique. Because typically these microphones don't have any kind of gain adjustment. It really means that your mic placement, whether that be on your camera or on a mic stand or boomed somewhere, is really important to get the best sound. And the general rule of thumb is to try to get your microphone as close to the sound source that you're recording as possible to um, increase the ratio of signal to noise. Signal being your voice and noise being anything else you don't want to record. <sighs> That's an airplane, because, because, just because. And so instead of just throwing a microphone on top of your camera in the cold shoe, um, you might need to get a little more creative. In my case, I am shooting this whole entire video on my new DJI Osmo Action 4, and um, I've come up with a unique way to 
uh, to mount my ZSG-1. And that's like this. Uh, on a cold shoe magnetic attachment on the bottom of my camera so that it stays out of frame. But also it is as close as it can be to me, the sound source. So basically I am under booming uh, the microphone instead of having it on top of a camera on a hot shoe. And in fact, for me, that's a better option because um, sometimes when it's mounted on top of your camera, it's aimed more directly above toward your forehead. And mics like the ZSG-1 can be super cardioid in their pickup pattern, meaning that they're super sensitive directly in front of them and not so much around them. So having a microphone that's pointing to over your head or having a microphone pointing more towards your chest will produce different results. Here, I'll show that right now. I'll, I'll let me flip this around. There you go. And now the microphone is on top of the camera and it's pointing kind of like over my head. And so based on this positioning, you can probably hear a difference in things like the fullness of my voice. Okay, let's go back. So now that you have your optimal mic placement, um, in most cases, there's only one other thing to adjust. And that's the third thing, your audio record level or gain level. So like I said before, a lot of on-camera microphones like the ZSG-1 don't have their own gain adjustment. So the only level you have to worry about is the one in your camera. And typically best practices are that you have your camera's record level or gain level set to as low as you can to get the cleanest audio recording. And so yeah, in my case on the Action 4, there is one gain setting and I set this to plus eight dB and then my level is good to go. Now your camera might have other options when it comes to audio record level or gain and or they might have additional meters that give you a better sense of um, what your level actually is. Generally, when you set your audio record level and you talk into your microphone, you want that level to be peaking at somewhere around minus 12 to minus 6 dB. And that will help reduce your chances of clipping your audio. So yeah, those three concepts, mic selection, mic technique, and record levels are pretty much all you need to understand to get clean recordings in the most simplified, streamlined manner. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, the Zoom ZSG-1 isn't necessarily limited to only on-camera use. If you are a Zoom F2 owner, a super cool use is to pair this microphone with that recording device, kind of like this. Okay, and now I have a portable 32-bit floating point recorder uh, using a Zoom F2 and the new Zoom ZSG-1. And yes, this is a cell phone holder for the F2, which I think works perfectly in this recording setup. So if you are the kind of creator who has a static shot and doesn't want to hold your mic or wants to get your mic significantly closer to you so that you are reducing that signal to noise ratio and you don't mind recording your audio separately and syncing it in post, then, um, then yeah, this recording setup is something you might want to consider. All right, let's, uh, let's get this guy back on my camera. So hopefully this video has made audio recording uh, for your content a little less intimidating. Big thanks to Zoom for sending me out the ZSG-1 to test out for this video. If you have any questions, as always, drop them down in the comments below, and we'll talk again real soon.